and at the table has no power. So we didn't play a game this week. Actually, we didn't play last week neither because everyone had holiday things to do but me. Robbie spent time with his family and his sister's boyfriend, Jay. Brandon spent time with his family, babysitting his other little kids. Tony went out and about with either Bonnie or his family. Um, Monster Mike, he was too scared to come out this weekend. Because there's this thing called drunk people. Drunk people scare him and they're out at like 6 o'clock. That's pretty scary. But we're here in the dark with cameras. Which is kind of odd because it's kind of like the Middle Ages type thinking. Living under candles. Can't read books very well. Can't see very well. Can't basically do too much of anything. Other than technically video blog. But that's about it. But this year we hope to have a better game session. We will continue on D&D with Robbie the Doorknobber, Katie the Thief, Brandon is a Wizard, and Robbie the Rattling, I think I'm going to write him out and switch him out for a cleric, because after all the group needs someone to repair Robbie's dunghole. And I'm not going to give him his stuff back. He, Brandon and him lost it fair and square. And this is a true confession right here. They lo I'm not giving it back. It's on film. Fuck them. But yeah. This is one of those th moments where you're going, wow. I wonder what the people did in the dark, scared of the night. And what is out there? This is really the real reason why I think the paranoia is what it created. Any noise, any flash of light, anything that popped up due to nature or unexplained phenomenon was explained as beasts, demons, unseen spirits. Stuff that, scared, that made us scared and cringe at night. Cringe underneath the bed. And stuff like that. So until next week at At The Table, when we have a game session uh, blog finished, this is Ages261 signing off. We can't see him now.